Remember General Michael Flynn? General Michael Flynn was a foreign agent. The president's first national security advisor who lied to the vice president about his conversations with Russian leaders and was forced to resign after 24 days on the job was also working to help the Turkish leader as a lobbyist during the U.S. presidential campaign. Michael Flynn now admits he was working to help Recep Erdogan, the authoritarian Turkish president, during the run-up to the United States election. Got a half million dollars while, among other things, writing an op-ed for The Hill saying how great Erdogan was and how awful a Turkish dissident was, and backed by the United States. And he did that while we were deciding who would be our next president. And while he, the former Army Lieutenant General and Intelligence Chief, was on the campaign trail with Donald Trump, complaining about pay for play, as he was paid to play by a businessman in support of the Turkish leader whose voting base is Islamic voters. Lock her up. That's right. Yes, that's right. Lock her up. He chanted about Hillary Clinton. Lock her up. Before he was on the Trump transition team and before he became the national security advisor, Mike Flynn registered as a foreign agent, not before he became one last year, but night before last, retroactively. And now the man who paid him is actually asking for his half million dollars back. Let's bring in Julie Bikowitz, the White House reporter for the Associated Press, who stayed, who worked on this story for AP, which broke the news. Julie, the White House said, ah, oh, he was a private citizen at the time. But there's been a lot of lying, Julie. And well, there's been a lot of lying. There's been lying about who you talk to and by lots of people. And almost inevitably and invariably, they were lying about talking to the Russians about something. It's too much lying and too much Russia and too much smoke and now they're investigating. Where are we in this thing? Well, with regard to Mike Flynn, the big news out of today was, and it was rather surprising to hear White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer say that the White House wasn't aware during its vetting process of Mike Flynn that he had done work that could be construed as for the Turkish government. You would think that the White House would, in, a, in the course of vetting someone for such an important job, come across that information uh, but it appears that they did not. So that that really made me remember when Flynn left his post um, when he was fired, it turns out, that Spicer was saying that there were other things um, than what he ostensibly just fired for. And we always sort of wondered what that was all about. Um, we're not getting a lot of answers out of the White House, but um, that this whole episode with the Turkish government could be one more thing that the White House was concerned about when they let him go. The, the, the president, as far as I can tell, hasn't answered questions on anything from reporters since this Russia story began building. He said Russia is a ruse, that it's all fake news, but that the leaks are real, something that really can't live together. Well, it's all gotten pretty confusing, and I, I really sort of feel for people trying to follow along at home because... You know, on the one hand, you've got intelligence officials saying, you know, we didn't see anything to indicate that the Trump campaign was working in collusion with Russia. We didn't see evidence that's just coming out today that uh, any advisors were sort of directly working for Russia. But then on the other hand, you have the president himself sort of raising this issue again over the weekend, talking about how he felt that uh, President Obama had wiretapped Trump Tower. So it's just a lot to digest, not a lot of clear answers at this point, and not much clarity on when we'll get more information on any of this. It, it, are reporters still pressing the White House, pressing, pressuring the president and Sean Spicer and all the rest of them on this? Every day. And at the last couple of press briefings, it's become very obvious that Sean Spicer and other you know, White House officials that we speak with they're having a difficult time sort of talking their way out of this situation because, again, there's just so little clarity when you've got sort of the president questioning intelligence officials on the one hand and then those same officials saying, hey, maybe yeah. there's nothing here. Julie Bikowitz from Associated Press.